Welcome, and thank you for joining for another Whiskey Review. Today, we're going to take a look at the Irishman, 17-year-old single cask. Dustin, bottled in 2000. This is cask number 6938. Bottle 313 of 600 comes in at 55% ABV. Obviously an Irish whiskey. What yes, can, sir. What can you tell us? So, I believe this is sourced from Cooley. Uh, I really should have done more research or... Truthfully, you just sent a text to Donald Rance and said, Hey, Donald, Irish Yoda, please inform me a little more. <laughs> he is the guy who turned me on to this. He actually sent me a sample, and um, I was blown away. I found one of these available, and I bought it the second I saw it. And as you can tell, Mike, I, I cannot put that bottle down. It is delicious. Yeah, you've been hyping it up for quite some time. I think we had it once before, so I'm anxious to get back into it. One note, I did say, I believe I said this was 55% ABV. Mm -hmm. It's 56. Oh, 56. So, small, small change. Beautiful dark whiskey here, Dustin. Maybe it is cast strength in Mike's. I thought I've seen 55. Anyway. Yeah, 56. Sherry cast. That's what we're getting here as far as the label. Age 17 years. Had this bottle for a while. Not that long, unfortunately. I've been hitting it, man. <laughs> you have. I really uh, want to find another bottle of these. Unfortunately, mm. it's a hard one to find. They, uh, they, don't, they do a couple of these every year and you know, 600 bottles each. It's, it's a hard one to find. Wow, man. This, this comes off as strong and aggressive to me as the first time I ever had a uh, red breast 12 cast strength. Yeah. I remember I had that after the first time. I was like, wow, I'll remember that. And I do. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of this. Well, I mean, it's got that pot still character, I mm -hmm. believe. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. assuming this is pot stilled. I, uh, I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Yeah. I mean, it's got that note. I, there's just something I, I get consistent on these Irish whiskeys. Yeah. Where, like, there's just something on the finish. It's, it's like chocolate or like butterscotch or something. Some confection. Yeah. I mean, it's there. Obviously, the first fill sherry butt is obviously Healthy. just really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... What would you say this would be? PX Oloroso? My guess is these are Oloroso casks. Comes usually off, when you... Comes usually off you, awfully sticky. Usually you state that it's PX if it's PX, and if you, say, if you just say sherry, it's Oloroso. Mm. And on top of all that, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're just saying first fill sherry butt. Also, remember, Irish can be pretty sticky, sweet. It can. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, it, it could really go either way. Oh, but it's, it's just a deep, rich, fruity smell. I just, I love that little bit of spice with that mm -hmm. chocolate butterscotch thing that's on the Irish. And then I love how beautifully this, whatever the sherry butt was, God, it was a good sherry cask. It seemed to me it's more caramel than butterscotch, but it's close. To me, it's almost like a difference between, it's caramel and honey. I mean, caramel is definitely another, it's yeah. probably there too, for sure. Oh, you know what it is? It's, it's aged caramel. Old. Yeah, it's old caramel. Oh, that's a great descriptor. Yeah, something dark about with it. With a little bit of nuttiness to it. Like, but not like, you know, your peanut or like some, something kind of... Um, it's floral. A little, oh, well, I mean, there's definitely floral notes here. Herbal. Jam. Pudding. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's chocolate pudding and jam and lots of like, you know, caramel aged. Mmm. I didn't even see Mike went for potation. I usually wait for him to start talking. Caramel sweetness initially, as soon as you swallow, big waffle flavor. Sweet. A um, little grainy. Mm -hmm. Almost like a sediment feel to like the texture of it almost. You can really tell it's a high ABV whiskey. Mm -hmm. So oily thick. Mouth oh, yeah. coating, viscous. You know I'm saying a lot of the same things essentially, but oh. man, it's a mouthful. Milk chocolate, white chocolate. Milk chocolate Cream. for short. Cream. Creamy milk chocolate. I mean, I'm getting just like legitimately like a like a whipped cream or something. Mm. Like a caramel whipped cream. A caramel whipped cream on like a, like if you mm. put it on a coffee kind of a thing. I'm, not, I'm even getting a little bit of like a light coffee. Even like almost on a biscuit or something. Mm. Yeah. A lot of jam here too. Crumbly. Some butter even. Mm. Mm. That's got a lot going on, man. That's one of the better Irish whiskeys we've had in a long time. I mean, I, this might actually be my favorite Irish to date. We've had some pretty good Irish whiskey. We've had some, we've brought you guys a couple. We brought you the Dare Gaelic. We brought you the Red Rest Twenty Seven. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure we've done something else. Uh, I know I've got a Barry Crockett at home that we, we're going to get to eventually. Yeah, and this cask influence isn't like as strong of a cask influence, say on that Red Breast Twenty Seven. But it doesn't need to be, man. The, uh, the cask and the a nice uh, and the pot still Irish malt so perfectly go together. And I think that's the twenty seven. You know, the twenty seven years versus seventeen. They decided that 17 years, for some reason, was the perfect maturation for these single casks. 
It comes off older than that, though. I, oh, it does. This comes off at least 21 years old. Yeah, I agree. It comes off old like old whiskey. Really old whiskey. Ooh, man. Now it's I'm getting slightly like... Slightly perfumey. Yeah, now I'm getting a lot more like... Um, like I'm getting like a Tootsie Pop now on here. Like So sweet. Like It's got that sweet candy fruitiness, like say like an orange Tootsie Pop. Mm-hmm. Like it's a little orange... Well, yeah, you had to, we had to <clears throat> unravel this to some degree. Fifty-six percent ABV, mm-hmm. cash strength or not, you need a little bit of water to bring out the best in it, as far as the nose. Yeah, I mean, it's you. You've brought out. It's almost like again, it's like that Tootsie Pop. I yeah, want to say it's pop. like a with like the, but again, it's got the inner chocolate like yeah. Tootsie oh, yeah, Roll yeah. center. Yeah, yeah, the commercial the guy said with the bird. The yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. many licks does it take to get to like the a center? Figure drawing. The world Man. may never know. Yeah. <laughs> The very unenthused owl. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about if you're ancient like I am. Um, but yeah, dude, really beautiful smell. And you know why you, know why you say that? Because you're right, it's that candy and inside there's something dark. That dark caramel inside. Yeah, and there's a little bit of like, there's a little bit of spice on here, but it's just beautiful. You know what you say the spice is there? It's easy it's like to overlook It's a cooking it, spice. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's a cooking spice, a little bit of oak spice. It smells like an herb rack oh, in the background. You know what I mean? There's that, that element to it as well. Yeah, just a little of everything mm-hmm. back there. Little of everything for sure there. You know, as far as how many little pieces there are in this, it almost reminds me of a Japanese whiskey. Now, it doesn't remind me of a Japanese whiskey as far as the, the power and just how aggressive it is because that's not what Japanese whiskeys do. But as far as the little, little pieces that it has, a lot of little pieces in this one. Oh, man. Let me pick them on the second one. More sugar? More candy notes? It's a little more integrated, but not significantly so. It definitely starts off more... Heavy sweet chocolates and caramels and all that good stuff. And then the finish is a little now more spicy. I think the spice kind of got delayed until the end. And it all comes out at once. And my mouth is watering, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm salivating on this one. Yeah. I mean, it's, mm. it's very juicy. Juicy, but then it's got that nice spice to give you, like, balance and, like, to complement how sweet it is. Which, yeah. sometimes on Irish whiskeys, I don't like that spice because it's there's not much. enough. Well, it's, like, the most dominant note in the it's whiskey sometimes much. is that spice. Here, no. It, the spice is a compliment to the super sweet, this, beautiful sherry cask and whatever gorgeous freaking whiskey this was initially. The spice is the same as far as the level. It's still a lot of spice. The, the difference is the cask maturation and the rest of the mm. whiskey is amped up mm-hmm. to where it can match it. Yeah. Because spice is heavy. Especially just like a cinnamon spice almost. Yeah, there's definitely some cinnamon in there for sure. That's an aggressive taste. Mm-hmm. Like the rest of the elements need to be just as aggressive. To uh, yeah. make it seem like it's not overpowering it. And usually it does. Like in some of those Irish whiskeys. Usually there's too much spice in them for me. But I mean, not with this one. It just raised everything right to its level. Oh, yeah. Good aggressive whiskey. Man. I just want to sit here and nose it for another 20 minutes, Mike. Great nosing whiskey. It was like, you know, I, I tell you what, all night tonight we've had some whiskeys that nosed really well. Yeah. We we decided for like our next kind of series of reviews, we're going to be heavy on sherry finished whiskeys. And, whew, man. We've got some good ones lately. We brought out some hitters. This, yeah. We brought out some hitters. Man. All right, so where are you as far as the whiskey score on this one? Mike, I feel like this is going to go crazy high here, but I am at a legitimate 91. Yeah, this is my best whiskey of the day. I'm at an 89. 89, okay. Fair enough. It's good. It, I was pushing 90. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it hard. Might be a 90. 89 and a half. I, I'm, I'm barely at a 91 here, but I, I, just, I just, it just blows me away. It's so good. This drinks to me like, if you told me this was four hundred dollars, I would not be shocked. I'm no. like, after tasting, I'm like, yeah, okay, no, I I'm in. Now this isn't quite to the level, but I remember the first time I had this, like the first time I had uh, King Kentucky. You know what yeah. I mean? I was like, oh, well, that's what an epic bourbon can do. This is what an epic Irish whiskey can do. Yeah, I mean, this also just brings mm. me back to how good, really good sherry casks can be with a whiskey. Because we've been we've been talking about this. There's been a lot of whiskeys coming out lately that we just keep thinking, man, those casks. Really? Yeah. No, this was quality. You know what? We should line this up against the uh, Red Rust 27 and uh, some of the best. Maybe one other really good Irish whiskey. See, it actually, yeah. which one is the best. I would, I would like to put that against those other ones. I think this will do well. I think it will win. Yeah, so do I. Anyway, those are our thoughts on the whiskey. Dustin, Till next time, we'll do the folks. Happy drinking. We'll see you then.